Hello teachers, welcome back. Our students come with different gifts and challenges. You must have observed that, that there is a wide diversity in our students with respect to their likes, interests, kind of parental support at home, readiness for learning and motivation levels. These differences become more glaring when we observe the varied levels while they are learning a concept. Some students are way ahead while others are lagging behind in the same concept. These differences matter and effective teachers attend to them thoughtfully and proactively. The teacher's response to the learner's needs is called differentiated learning. The two most common ways in which a teacher can differentiate learning in their classes are content and process. We will learn more about these two types of differentiation in this video. Differentiating content means differentiating the knowledge concepts and the skills that students need to learn based on the curriculum. In the teacher tools, when you click on the assignment section and then go to the score button, you will see scores of your students. With these insightful reports, you will be able to identify the level of learning for each student and the content that needs more attention. Let's see how you can differentiate for the content with an example. Let us say students in your class are working on division. However, based on students' scores on Khan Academy, you notice that some of the students need to spend more time understanding division as a process of repeated subtraction, while others need to work on dividing three-digit numbers by two-digit numbers. Alternatively, you may also have a group of students who need to work on solving word problems based on division, as their real struggle is comprehension. For each of these cases, as a teacher, you can identify the right videos and assignment questions from the content available on Khan Academy and assign it to the student as per their need. We have already seen how you can assign additional content to the selected students in the previous videos. Differentiating by process means using different strategies for different students to learn the same skill. Let's see how you can differentiate for the process with an example. As a first step, I will take a look at the data available to us on student learning in the scores section of the teacher tools. We will take an example of the student scores for the topic of multiplying two digit with one digit with an area model. Based on this data, I can see there are three categories of students. First, those who have mastered this concept like Akash, Aditya and Ashish. Second, those who have attempted but not mastered this concept like Sanket, Swati and Manindarjeet. And third, those who have not attempted this assignment at all like Sandeep, Ekta and more. Now in addition to this data, I have observed that some of the students would need help from me while few other students just need to try once again to achieve mastery. There are some students who could be given a chance to support others. There could be some students who learn from their peers. So here is how I would plan for differentiating process for my next class. As a first step, I would reintroduce the concept of multiplication using the area model to the whole class. Then I would divide the students in different groups. Group number one, I would support struggling learners by giving them a simple hands-on activity. It could be pieces of papers with varying shapes mentioning the dimensions. So instead of solving the multiplication only on the basis of a question, these students will solve using an area model of the real piece of paper. These are the students who definitely need additional support from me. In group number two, another group of students who have not attempted the exercises yet, but may not need my support. They could be assigned a buddy who has already mastered a concept. In this group, students can learn from each other while the teacher is supporting group number one with the hands-on activity. Students who have already mastered the skill can also be assigned work from the next topic so they can keep moving forward. In group number three, I will have those students who have already attempted the quiz but have not mastered it yet. So these students could be given another opportunity to master the content by re-attempting the quiz independently. Implementing differentiation requires careful planning and thinking about each and every student in your class. At the core of differentiation is a belief that all children can achieve excellent results. 
As a teacher, imagine the happiness that we get when all our students achieve mastery on the topic we have taught.